Well, the next thing to do with these tops is to get them sanded back and prepare them. Any razors or dips like that, you're going to see that with the eye. I've just had some lunch, won't be too far away, and I'll get stuck into that second coat. Looked good, I strained it, but when it came to spraying it, it was obviously congealed. Now it's time for the last coats of the satin mat. Well, the next thing to do with these tops is to get them sanded back and prepare them for the all grip top coat. That will be fantastic to see that go on. If you want to check out a great success story with this all grip, check out prior videos for the cabin sole. But that's what I'm up to now. I've got to get these sanded back nicely. It'll be a fine sand with 240 grit get all that looking nice and flat and even and scratch free and then three coats with the gloss which will look I'm sure amazing again and then two coats with the matte satin I can hardly wait I forgot to point something out sometimes there were slight slight gaps between the rosewood laminated pieces and they were almost undetectable but after epoxying it did leave a little bit of a gap between where the epoxy would adhere properly. I found out a little trick to try and get the epoxy down there just by using a wooden toothpick. After rolling on the epoxy and seeing those little gaps as the epoxy was drying, what I did was just get a little bit of the epoxy, dip the end of the toothpick in and then just drop that on and progressively drop that on and scrape it in where the gap was and the epoxy seemed to go there and stay there. That did leave a bit of a lump over those gaps though, as you can see. And so now what I'm doing is I've got to sand those back because obviously they're a raised section and the whole panel needs to be completely flat for more than a couple of reasons. Obviously in order to get it nice and flat and a nice flat surface to put the all grip on top of but also any razors or dips like that you're going to see that with the eye once the finished product is in the boat so that's what i'm doing now i'm just sanding that back i've got the orbital sander on really really low and i'm just using the edge of that very very lightly as you'll see and that just gets rid of that raised section. Afterwards, I'll go over with that 240 grit and get the whole thing uniformly flat.
Right, a eh? well, the four panels are ready to go with the Allwood. Wish me luck, people. <laughs> I'm hoping that these four panels will come up a treat just like the cabin soul. So the idea with this fantastic all grip, all wood, is a dust coat goes on first, which you actually saw me do. 15 minutes later, the first coat, the first full coat that is, and then two hours minimum later, the second full coat. So that's what I'm up to. I'm just waiting for that two hours to be up. I'm actually nearly there. What are we? Three o'clock. So I've got around about 35 minutes to wait as a minimum and then I'll mix up some more of the all wood and then put the second coat down. Now this is the gloss coat and so what I'll do, the same as I did with the cabin sole, I'll be putting on top two satin matte coats just to take the glisten off of that gloss coat. It's just my preference, obviously uh, that's a personal choice. So waiting for a little bit longer having a cup of tea, I've just had some lunch, won't be too far away and I'll get stuck into that second coat. So it's the morning after getting that fantastic all grip gloss coat on and so now the plan is to get them lightly sanded with some 240 grit and then go through the cleaning process of vacuuming, wiping, wax and grease remover and then I can get that final coat of the satin mat on which I'm really looking forward to seeing the final product.
Well, here's a not so good story. A few days ago, all in the same day, I had two things fail, I guess you could say. Uh, not much fun when it came to doing the last coat, the satin matte coat on top of the beautiful gloss coats that came up with these panels. The actual remaining product that I had from the cabin soles previously looked good. I strained it, but when it came to spraying it, it was obviously congealed and it just came out like snot. Now that was a bit of a bummer really, because what it meant was I had to throw away what I had and source some more and that all grip product is just not available up here on the Sunshine Coast. Now it's not a big deal to drive down to Brisbane, but actually I don't even know who sells it in Brisbane. It is available on the Gold Coast. So anyway, I got in touch with the rep that I used before and I teed up picking some of that up. It did take a few days, but I've got some, thankfully. And so now today, I'll need to re-sand these panels and get the last coats of that satin mat on top. The second thing was even worse. What happened was, so I was setting up the camera to do some filming in the nav area, and one of the legs of the tripod was dubiously resting on that ladder that I've got going down the companionway. Not only did it fall, <laughs> if you tried to do this you couldn't, it knocked a bucket that was half full of water over, which subsequently found its way to the bilge, making a mess of water everywhere on the way of course. But the camera was damaged and not only was the camera damaged, the SD card was obviously corrupted and became unreadable. So I've lost three days of footage. Thankfully, I do have quite a bit of that on the GoPro, but I will continue, I will carry on, I will press on, and we'll get these panels done today and continue with that navigation installation. Oh, good morning, little mate. <laughs> well, now it's time for the last coats of the satin mat. I'm actually conscious of the fact that on one hand, it kind of seems a bit of a shame to go over the top of this beautiful, glossy looking rosewood underneath. But the thing is to live with that gloss every day, the glare and the fact that any little mark just shows up I think it is the right decision to go for the satin matte finish. Having had to redo these means that I've actually ended up with a bit more thicker coat with the gloss and I must say you can tell it definitely looks nicer. So now it's a case of a very light sand with the 240 just to roughen the surface so that the next coats can etch in and weather permitting after a wipe down hopefully I can get those satin matte coats on. So there you have it folks. There's always curveballs to navigate, just like life, hey? Even for water dragons. Persistence has paid off once again, though, and the satin matte top coats look fantastic. In the next episode... It looks like I will be going for an AGM battery for the starting battery. So what I'm going to do here with the sinks, obviously they need to be sealed. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell, and share. I'd really, really appreciate that.